What's up, Poker Flickers? It's your boy, Heracris, some kind of chew. Today we're gonna be talking about how to fix the Pokemon anime series. Dude, um, why, why are you speaking like that? Forget about it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the absolute hate that we're about to dish out to the Pokemon anime series. I don't know about hate, but we're definitely going to be writing some constructive criticism. I think we need to first cover what a Pokemon anime can be. We can look at generations and origins as a standard. Basically, just take away the literal video game elements and keep the interpretation realistic. Also, when it comes to the animation quality between the main series and the spin-offs, we can see a clear, clear distinction. But what I guess is also due to, to the length of each series. Being shorter means more time to refine. Another reason these were a success was because of the new protagonist and familiar plot which gave a sense of nostalgia. The first thing we could fix in the anime would be a new protagonist who wouldn't require any background information, creating a new origin story or reset, and a storyline that's not been driven by a single objective like collect the gym badges, catch all the Pokemon, battle the elite point champion, or become the Pokemon master. Next is getting Pokemon to be more consistent and realistic. Things like sizes, which we all know are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, movies need to link to the series and not be separate events or part of an alternate timeline. For example, our protagonist, like Ash, should remember previous encounters with legendaries like Mewtwo and Giratina. The protagonist has to learn from the mistakes as well. If they use an ineffective type matchup, they'll soon be able to identify types and develop strategies in-game, which doesn't actually happen very often. We can replace Ash in a large way through a movie or a special where we see him leave as opposed to those around him leaving, or he achieves his ultimate goal of being a Pokemon master, whatever that means. This could be achieving the highest bond with Pikachu, defeating the League, becoming a gym leader, or coming to some kind of conclusion that sets him apart from any other Pokemon trainer. A story will take place years before or after Ash. We can follow the story of Professor Oak and see him and the Pokemon will develop. Or we could meet the children of an older Ash, or the children of older characters beginning their own journeys. Maybe we could be revisiting moments from the original series. If, however, we can't get rid of Ash, there are a few ways we can fix him. Number one, let him age. Let time pass and allow character development. In the beginning, he was a sassy and stubborn kid, while in Sun and Moon, he was reverted back to being immature. Naruto and Dragon Ball both have protagonists who have aged through the insertion of newer seasons. It makes sense that Ash wouldn't since the series is aimed at children, but does not mean that you would need to stop time itself. Number two, the end of each season we see Ash return home. Why not have him revisit previous regions and complete the league? He does not have to become the champion of every region, but it would be nice if he at least defeated the Elite Four. Number three, and actually let him achieve the goal that is implied by the slogan, gotta catch him all. Number four. Another thing Ash could revisit is already captured Pokemon, and even those who he has abandoned or left behind, maybe he could evolve them. This can tie into his personal development or his quest to catch them all. I thought this would be a perfect chance for a finale where he could use all his Pokemon to defeat a strong opponent or legendary. That's all from us this video. Why, Why not like and subscribe? More videos, more often. Hello, Pokey Flickers, it's your boy, Connor Chu and Heracris. Today we're gonna be discussing how to fix the Pokemon anime. I, I, I think you should just do